same thing. We're saying, you know, Colorado isn't going to slide. Uh, the nation isn't going to slide in towards bitterness and recrimination and divisiveness, finger pointing at anyone who's slightly different to ourselves, uh, blaming each other. Because there's a time at which society either takes the route towards brotherly and sisterly love or takes the path towards recrimination. These things happen in, a, in, in historical terms in an instant. And we're at such an instant now where we have to make that choice. And the only thing that stops us from making that choice towards the, uh, uh, the bad path towards divided, hateful, and uh, depressingly uh, disrespectful treatment of one another is when folks come together and say, hey, no, we're not going to let that happen. Because if that's where we might be going, I am going to stand up, I am going to make phone calls, I am going to talk to my neighbors, I'm going to knock on people's doors. It's not going to happen because of me and my decent colleagues and friends and fellow citizens that are willing to stand up and do something about it. And there's another big decision we're making in Colorado, which is how are we going to deploy the extra revenues that are coming in without tax increases? just from the fact that we've got increased economic activity. Are we going to take that money and finally address the lack of mental health provision for those of us who are suffering from mental health issues? Are we finally going to provide good, thorough, decent K-12 schools for all our citizens? Are we finally going to have a transportation infrastructure that enables us to get around in Colorado in, the way, in a way that befits a 21st century thriving, prosperous, and growing state? Are we finally going to be able to have housing that people who are working hard can afford at least to pay rent or maybe even a first home pay a mortgage payment? Are we going to have a Colorado where we can have uh, the prospect of going to college, going to university for those for whom it's right, regardless of whether they're rich or poor, simply whether it's the right thing, thing for them without coming out with a lifetime of debt. These are things we've been trying to address for eight years, but for eight years we haven't been able to do anything about it because there haven't been the revenues coming in. Now, more people are going to work, more people are paying taxes, more people are uh, contributing to the state's revenues, so revenues are rising. And there is a school of thought that says revenues are rising. Let's give everyone a free tank of gas. And then they'll love us. Uh, and we'll be popular. And we'll get back into office. Let's give our favored co big campaign contributors, whether it be the Tiddlywink uh, Manufacturing Association industry or the whatever industry it is, let's give them a tax cut. We'll say that it's creating jobs. Uh, but we'll be loved by the people that contributed to our campaigns, and then we'll be able to get reelected. And there are some who are saying, like Jovan, are saying, let's take that revenue and not fritter it away. Let's improve our schools, improve our college affordability, improve our housing stock, improve our transportation infrastructure, improve our health provision for people that need it give people who have struggled for years a chance to get ahead. Now, which is it to be? You will decide. You will decide by your actions and by your behavior today. This is a marvelous thing that you are doing for people you don't even know, for people who will never know what you've done. It's the highest form of civic participation for people you don't even know. But who, when you've done this, and when you saved us from uh, going down a terrible path in the state and in the nation, they will be able to look back and say, thank God for those people. Thank God for those people, that they did what they did when they did it. So I can't tell you, as a citizen, not as a candidate for state senate, because this is not about me. It's not about Jovan. 
uh, it's about the future of Colorado. And so, as a citizen of this great nation and state, I am so glad that you are here and that you are willing to do this work. Because without you, we would be on a terrible, terrible path. So thank you so much for doing this.